I hope you're all well. So welcome to my Wednesday morning video and actually when you watch this video, when this video goes live, I will be in Bali. I'm visiting my sister there, she's travelling around Asia for six months and we thought we'd have a little sister holiday so if you want to see what I'm getting up to, check out my Instagram stories. There'll be plenty of stuff on there I'm sure and then also there will be a Bali vlog when I get back, so very excited for that. Um, I mentioned on my Instagram that I was doing my packing for Bali, I actually got packed and sorted a little bit earlier than I usually did which feels very organised, I'm into that, but I thought instead of doing a packing video because I've done an absolute load of those, plus I'm hoping to do a California packing video when we go to California in May because we're going for three weeks and I figure that's a bit more interesting like how to pack for a holiday that's actually really bloody long. So I thought instead of doing a packing video I will do a hot weather 10 by 10 which you guys have been asking for. If you're new to the whole 10 by 10 thing I will link my introductory video up there for you where I explain more about the origins, where it comes from, what the idea is and how to do one yourself, how to actually collate these 10 pieces and the idea is that you have 10 items that you've taken out of your wardrobe that you then turn in to 10 outfits. Now this one, this one was tricky guys, I'm not gonna lie, this one I was like Hmm, this is really hard because it's hot, it's humid. I'm gonna get really, really, really sweaty and 10 items just isn't gonna last me the length of time that I need it to. Um, I'm actually there for, I think it's about six days in total, six, seven days, so it's actually not a very long trip. Um, but it's really, really hot there at the moment and so it's like 34 degrees. I haven't experienced that kind of heat in a very, very, very long time. So I was very tempted to just completely like go off, off track and do like 15 pieces or something. But I thought, no, I'm going to stick to the 10 by 10 and then I will like let you know how it goes. Um, so I will put an update either on Instagram or I mention it in the vlog that I put up, kind of how it went. Um, Cause I'm kind of anticipating that I'm going to need to wash a couple of things, freshen up a few things whilst we're there. But everything is very thin that I've packed, very easy and quick to wash. So don't think that will be too much of a problem. But I thought I'm gonna test it out for you. I'm gonna let you know how I find it or if it's worth just like throwing in a couple of extra tops. And I've basically made five day outfits and five night outfits out of the pieces because we're not 100% sure of our plans yet. Uh, but I did manage to get it down to 10. And as always, there's a couple of additional items that are coming along with me that I don't really count as part of my 10 and so I thought I would show you those. They tend to be just things I'm taking to travel in or particular activities that we've got planned so let me show you those first. So the first additional item which I really don't think is going to get too much wear is this denim jacket and um, I've had this for around three years now it's just a Levi's I think it's called like trucker boyfriend oversized jacket it's just an oversized denim jacket nothing special but it does what it says on the tin and I'm basically bringing this along to travel in this is part of my travel outfit I like to take a lot of layers with me just in case I get a bit chilly so this will be with me in Bali but basically just because I'm wearing it there and back but there are a couple of outfits I've incorporated it in just because I'm one of those people that when there's air conditioning, I feel like an ice cube. So I'm like, I don't know, if the air conditioning is kind of having a moment over there, I might need to grab this just to put over my shoulders in the evening or something. But the evenings are supposed to be 24 degrees, judging by the weather, so I don't think I'll be wearing that too much. And um, these I might get a bit more wear out of. Um, again, these are a pair of APL trainers and they're what I'm wearing at the airport. So they're just part of my travel outfit there and back. Um, but I thought I would just show you them because I feel like we could be doing some hikes, could be doing some walking. Um, so I have got these just as a more like sensible shoe option. And I did also throw in my Aviana flip flops just because they're easy. I don't know, I might need them around the resort maybe that we're staying in. If we go to the pool, stuff like that. They're so easy and just quick to throw in a bag. And I thought if I don't take flip flops with me, I feel like I might regret it. So there are these sort of two additional shoe options. Um, and I also don't tend to include bags as part of a 10 by 10. Um, I really needed tops this time instead. And normally I just throw in one bag. I tend to take like my low a puzzle bag or something with me, but it's a hot weather holiday. I didn't really want a heavy dark leather bag. Uh, so I bought this one with me, which is from a brand called Wood Grey. They actually sell really similar ones in Mango. Or if you ever go on holiday, I'm sure you can find these 
these for about tenner. Um, it's just like a little woven like bamboo bag. Very good for wearing cross body. Um, it's just like a very casual, I can imagine I'll be wearing this bag more than any of my others. And then over Christmas, I haven't really shown you this yet, um, I picked this up in the sale. It is from Simon Miller and it's one of the bucket bags that they do. This was such a good price in the sale and I've been eyeing up this like genre of bag for such a long time and it's brilliant because it's this floppy leather it packs really really well and um, it's just got these like plastic handles in this sort of tortoiseshell color and then this mustard leather which is beautiful it fits a ton of stuff in which is brilliant but it isn't very secure so i feel like this might be something that i'll wear to like dinner in the hotel or something but i don't think it's going to be my out and about bag uh, but just like a, a nice option to have if you want to be a bit more like posy in the evening um, and also just helps to distinguish between my day and my night outfits kind of changes things up and very easy and small to pack so loving that but those are the additional extra things which kind of help to like dress the outfit obviously i'm going to be taking some necklaces with me some earrings to sort of help change things up um, but aside from that let's uh, get on to the 10 pieces so this was a bit of a tricky one to break down but it ended up going for two pairs of shoes in the end i've got my flip-flops i've got my trainers but i thought these will probably be what i wear the most and they're from sam edelman i picked them up last summer did i i think i did um wore them an absolute ton they are so comfortable and i think i picked them up actually for vietnam so i've had them for a bit longer than a year and they were perfect for their so easy just to like slip on have on your feet very very comfortable go with every single outfit because they are this shade like you can just see it works with absolutely everything so a very easy kind of multifunctional shoe that can be dressed up dressed down the other pair that i bought with me are a slightly dressier sandal option uh, these are from a brand called lock um, and again these are ones that i picked up last summer and these have a little tiny heel on them it's not very big and they're obviously very strappy you just pop them around your ankles these are not like the practical option i will not be wearing these throughout the day these are definitely more of a like oh we're going to the hotel bar oh we're just going down the road for drinks or food or whatever we'll be doing when we're there but i just absolutely love these shoes they like just scream summer to me they're very neutral they're in this kind of peachy leather so again they work with everything um, and i know people will be watching this video and be like anna you're just gonna be wearing flip-flops all the time very possibly um i might conclude that perhaps i should have swapped these out and put in another top or something but we'll see how we go with these on to the actual clothing and when it came to the breakdown i started with bottom half things first and initially i think i had two pairs of like denim shorts in there and i just had to swap out one of the pairs for another top it wasn't leaving me with enough like top half options so i stuck with these ones these are from a brand called girlfriend denim and i went with these ones because they are a really thin denim i was gonna say they're very cottony uh, but all denim is cotton but these are just a really like lightweight like you know sometimes a denim it can feel really heavy like you can probably tell the fact that i can screw it up like that shows you that it's a really malleable denim that isn't too heavy it's gonna be hot i'm not sure i want too much like chafing going on in this area so i ended up keeping the pair that were just the lightest to wear and again they go with everything here so that's good they're just a kind of high waist not too booty short but still quite short shorts very flattering very easy to wear uh, so i thought that will be my short option also because they are a lighter fabric if i do end up having to give them a quick wash these are going to dry much quicker than the other ones that i was going to take with me these are a new purchase and you guys know that i like to keep my hauls like very seasonal and in line with the whole capsule wardrobe thing but i felt like i was missing i had a bit of a gap here and i was like i feel like the gap needs filling one thing to buy for a holiday i feel like that's kind of allowed uh, these are from a brand called faithful the brand and they are just very wide leg full-on linen trousers nothing too special here they've got that kind of paper bag waist to them very stretchy oh i am into that um, but i just didn't own anything like this and i was watching alana's videos from where she was traveling around asia and she was raving about a pair of linen trousers that she owned and how much she wore them and how they were literally the only thing that she wore and i was like oh yeah don't really have a pair of linen trousers so i thought these could be good for the day good for wearing in the day also good for wearing at night and um, they can be dressed up dressed down and hopefully 
just a very comfortable option. This was one of the first things I pulled out of my wardrobe. I was like, I know these are coming with me. I have to, I have to, have to, have to bring this skirt. It's Realization Part, it's 100% silk. It is just so soft so light, when I wear it I feel like I'm naked in the best kind of way. So I was like, that's the kind of stuff that I need to like keep in mind here. I just love wearing it, I love the slight kind of flare it has at the bottom, I find it very flattering. FYI, I have this in a small. I'm definitely more of like a small medium, um, but I find that Realization Pass size is a little bit larger than normal, um, so small for this is perfect for me. And it's just got a very easy elasticated waist that won't kind of make me all hot and bothered. So I was so excited about that. And then another Realization Part piece. This I have in a medium, and actually I feel like it is the right size. Um, I picked this up at the end of last summer, kind of just in anticipation for hopefully having a hot weather holiday sometime soon. And I've waited like eight months for it, but here it is. Um, this is a very cute, very, very, very thin. That's why I bought this. Again, it's silk and it is, it's like paper. It is so thin, which I just feel like is gonna be perfect for this. I could see myself living in something like this just because it's gonna be so nice and like, easy to wear, not too much like fabric touching your body. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to get some wear out of that. So that was one pair of shorts, one pair of trousers, one skirt, one dress. Now we're on to tops and we're on to like the final kind of pieces here. I ended up with four tops. I only had four pieces left. So I was like, right, okay, tops, four tops. I mean, yeah, I am going for like six days. So I'm gonna need more than just these four tops. But I figure that I can give things a quick wash, a quick rinse, and hopefully, hopefully make them last. We'll see how this works. I might be wearing my sister's clothes on like day six, who knows. Uh, this is from Topshop. I had this from last summer. It's a very teeny tiny little crop top. Um, definitely something that when I wear here, I feel very like, oh, oh, hello. Um, I wore it to Pride last year and I felt great in it, but it is, I mean, the, the back on it is quite low. You'll see later on. Um, but so many of the things I've bought here, in fact, all of the bottom half options I've bought here are kind of high waisted, um, so it's not like my belly will be flapping over anything. <laughs> and I feel like you don't really want to have too much extra fabric that you're having to like tuck in. I feel like that would just make you so, so, so hot and bothered. So I thought this would be a really good piece for that. And then I also bought this white camisole. It's just from ASOS actually. It's very, very simple. Something that I've had now for a couple of summers. And I just pull out all the time um, when I go on holiday, when I'm here. It is double lined, which I was thinking like, oh, that could be quite hot, but because it is double lined, I don't feel the need to wear a bra with this, which is going to be a lovely thing. It's just going to want to be like, free and have nothing touching you but again this goes with everything and I feel like this would be a very versatile piece that probably ends up getting washed like four times when I'm there. For my third choice I thought I would go for this frame uh, silk like short sleeve top. Now this might seem like a bit of a random choice. Number one it's black. Number two, it has sleeves, um, but it is very airy. I remember wearing this a lot in Vietnam and being completely fine in it. It doesn't sort of touch or like get too under your armpit, if you know what I mean. It is a very loose fitting top. Um, so this could, I, I'm not 100% sure about this one. I feel like this might not be the smartest choice ever, um, but it'll be really nice to wear in the evenings. I just feel like it will kind of smarten up my more sort of casual bottom half options that I've got. And you guys know that I love black. Like I can't go a week with not wearing black, you know? And then finally I have this and other stories, just the white oversized shirt. Yes, this is huge. There is a lot of fabric to this. However, I feel like this could be a good one to have if we go to the beach, if we go to the pool. It works as a bit of a cover up. Um, it also works as an extra layer if I do get chilly, if I am like going to a restaurant or something and I'm wearing this, I can always just like pop this over the top and wear it more as a jacket. It's just a very versatile piece that can work in so many different ways. So I'm not sure I'll be wearing this necessarily like throughout the day as a top. I definitely think this will be like an additional piece that will help me out in other situations. And maybe I'll wear it to dinner. Maybe I'll wear it with like this. Oh, that'll be chic as hell. That would be really, really nice. We'll see what temperature allows. Um, but I do think this will be a good piece to have sort of to act 
as an extra layer when I need it. I've always packed this. Wherever I go, I've always packed that and it always comes in handy. I always end up wearing it. It rarely ever stays untouched in my suitcase. So those are my 10 pieces. Definitely a trickier one than normal to put together. I feel like it's because we just never really have hot 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 weather here so it's not something i'm particularly well versed in but now i'm going to show you the 10 outfits i've created with these 10 items and like i said i've got five daytime outfits five nighttime outfits which should kind of see me through uh, so now we're uh, yeah let's see those a very simple outfit for day one just like easing myself in uh, it's the ASOS camisole with the girlfriend they're quite like high-waisted and they are quite short but like I said they're very very thin um, so they stretch out a lot once I've worn them a bit and they're just very easy and comfortable to wear I've got my Simon Miller bucket bag and then my Sam Edelman slip-ons so nothing fancy here just a very easy simple casual like day outfit I guess this is my second outfit and it's one that I would wear in the evenings and um, don't mind the skirt it's got a little bit static so it's sticky to my body more than it normally would but this is the realization pass skirt that I just absolutely adore it's so comfortable it's just got a very comfortable band around the middle so it's very like easy to wear the top shot crop top which is ooh, slightly more revealing than what I would usually wear but you know it's gonna be really 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 hot um, yeah, it's, this is sticking to my body in such a funny way I've got the lock sandals the wood grey bag could always do a little crossbody situation which is cute um this is one of my favorite outfits actually it's just very simple kind of monochrome kind of like dressy but in a very chic oh my god it's so hot I'm gonna melt kind of way this is my third outfit and my second day outfit so I guess it's something I will probably wear on my second full day there. Let's ignore the fact that I haven't ironed these trousers. Um, I'm off to a photo shoot in approximately 15 minutes. Humble brag. I think I might pack my steamer with me just to get like the big creases out, but they're linen, they're gonna crease, it's cool. That's kind of their like whole appeal. I've never owned a pair of trousers like this. I feel like I wanna just like kick my leg around. They are very, 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 very comfortable. Um, they're not too kind of pulling around the center. It doesn't feel like there's too much fabric going on there. I love the color. They're gonna go with everything that I've bought with me, basically everything in my wardrobe. I just, yeah, why didn't I buy a pair of paper bag topped linen trousers before? I feel like this could be a really handy thing to have in my wardrobe. Outfit number four is a night out outfit. So I've got my Realization Par polka dot dress on. I've got the lock sandals, got my wood gray bag, and I have got this Levi's jacket on, but hear me out on this. I don't think I will wear this. I just wanted to present it as an option because it is gonna be easy to just throw on over the top of all of the outfits that I've shown here, if for any reason it is a little chilly. I, I can't imagine that is gonna happen, um, but I'm just thinking if the air conditioning is really strong somewhere, or it is a little bit stormy at the moment, it keeps like raining and stuff. If I just get a little bit cold, this is very easy to just throw on. So I think ultimately I will just be wearing this, um, but if any of these outfits feel a little bit chilly at any point, this is what I will be throwing on over the top. The static in this skirt is quite frankly dry me insane um, but this is a day outfit with the skirt got the comfy shoes on and maybe this bag maybe I'll swap it out for the wood grey bucket bag we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see what I have to carry and maybe I'll just wear a tote bag with it who knows um, but it's very casual like really not touching my body too much there's a tiny amount of fabric that's tucked in around here but it's really not too much and I can always wear it untucked if I am just feeling too too hot uh, but yeah nice little simple one here this is outfit number six and I feel like this is more of a night out outfit and um, because of the like long sleeved shirt this is the end of the stories oversized shirt and I just like tied it up um, and rolled up the sleeves but yeah I definitely feel like this is more of a night out one. I'm also wearing my lock sandals, which are definitely my not so comfortable sandals, um, but still a very like casual, comfortable outfit. Um, but yeah, just definitely one that I think I would save more for the evenings, given that it's slightly more covering on the top half. I think I could completely like melt if I wore this during the day. Um, but I quite like wearing the wood gray bag. It's more of an evening bag. I think it'll be a bit more practical to wear as well because obviously I can wear it crossbody. So um, yeah, I like this one. So we're up to day seven and I feel like this is more of a day outfit. Yes, it is black, um, but it is so thin. And honestly, this shirt like 
barely touches my body in the best kind of way. Still going for the shorts, still like adore the shorts. And then I'm thinking the wood gray bag, maybe like a little crossbody situation. This is some Edelman slip-ons, just very comfortable. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a very practical outfit, but very much in my comfort zone when it comes to summer dressing. For outfit number eight, I thought I would get a night outfit out of these linen trousers as well. I mean, they're so stretchy and like wonderfully comfortable. How amazing to eat all of the barley food like and hide a food baby in there. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. Um, I'm just wearing them with the Simon Miller bucket bag, which I quite like because they're similar tones, like the same but different, kind of into that. I've got the lock sandals on, I've got my frame shirt, and um, I feel like this could be perhaps a little bit warm if I wore this throughout the day, because obviously it's black, and then these are like long, um, but actually, for the evening, I reckon, I reckon they could work. Obviously, dependent on where we're going, what our plans are, like what is respectful to wear, like what needs to be covered up, I thought this possibly could be used as a day outfit as well, just because it is so... Oh my god, guys, it's like literally barely touching my body. It does an amazing thing of like barely touching your body, being so darn thin, but then also like actually giving you incredible shape as well. Like this is one of my favorite, favorite pieces of like this hot weather capsule. Um, I just absolutely adore it. I just feel like it's never going to be hot enough in the UK to wear it. So if I'm away and I'm in a hot country, I want to get my use out of it. So I've got it with the Simon Miller bucket bag, my slip-on shoes, and um, yeah, I just feel like this could be a nice, cool outfit to wear if there's a day that is particularly warm when we're there. So this is the final outfit, 10 out of 10. Um, I feel like we all know the white shirt is uh, definitely not going to be white by this point. So I'm sure it would have had a wash, um, but I... I love this outfit. I love it so much. Again, an evening outfit. Got the lock sandals on, the Realization Pass skirt, and other stories, shirt, uh, the Simon Miller bucket bag. And I just, yeah, I, ad I adore this outfit. I would wear this outfit here in the UK. I would wear it on holiday. Think I'd be cracking it out in California. Um, yeah, it's just, oh, love, love, love. What's not to love? Who doesn't love a leopard print skirt? Who doesn't love a white shirt? Thumbs up. So that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Everything will be linked down below for you as always, along with dupes for the more pricier items. Um, the fingers crossed this works. Let's see how this one goes. I'll pop a little update down below for you. And like I said, I will update you, I'm sure on Instagram stories or in the vlog that goes up from Bali as I'm wearing all of my sister's clothes. <laughs> Speaking of my sister, she will be in Wednesday's video. She very kindly agreed to be in a little sister Q&A, so that is coming up for you. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. All my links to all my stuff will be down below. I have a blog. I blog there twice a week, Monday and Friday. I've got a newsletter. I've got a book. I'm always posting on Instagram stories. It's all down there for you, so I will see you very, very soon with that video. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you then. Bye.